On to this now, the biggest federation of trade unions, Congress of South African Trade Unions, also known as COSATU, alongside other trade unions, have taken to the streets on a national shutdown. The protest aims to shed light on workers' challenges in a struggling economy marked by layoffs and poor working conditions. Now, the march took place across the country in major entities such as Johannesburg Stock Exchange, the South African, the South African Reserve Bank, as well as Discovery. Umbuto mkulu we manyano za basede nze mzanzi Afrika e kosati uko kele ukangalazo kuzwelo nge uko kakambisa ingaki ya basede nzi uko paula usu kulwe sabatu lwe misede nze enestima olu kangalazo lubanjo kukasi na nemeko yezo kokosho e kukole layo e mzanzi Afrika uko ngabiko kwe misede nze intlupe kukunye no kukalingani The workers cannot breathe because not only collective bargaining is under attack, the inflation goes up. When the inflation goes up, the interest rate goes up. So even when Godong will not choose Zambia with three percent, we figure out to look at the interest rate Yaga 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 Kanya Ila Ubimu and then your loan interest rate goes up. You would say your housing, whether it's your motor car, whether it's any other loan, the interest rates are going up. We're demanding that they must be reduced now. Kwezi inga ili pezulu la banjo wa banga pangiliyo, iko saatu imemele la kuitandelu lika kulumendo nelu la bukala. Ukubakumiso kutendwa kwa bantu. We are calling on the private sector, including the public sector, to stop the, the massive retrenchment that I am banking on now. We want a stop, Congress, on the retrenchment on the mining sector, on the retrenchment on macro, on pick and pay, on the retrenchment and post office and MTN and the farm workers. We want decent jobs. Today is an international day of decent work, which means there must be jobs so created in this country. Lombu, to unike in kampani ezi kapa zele kayo intu kwe zili shume ili nesine. Ukubazi pendu ule kuzi nyanzeli so ezi palo kukwe pula wole zi nyanzeli so. Kuinda baza Soweto TV, ndi muna mzabala azo mtuka SNT. Let's stay with the story. Officials from the South African Reserve Bank and Discovery have welcomed the memorandum of demands handed over by the COSATU. We recognize these issues, we hear these issues loud and clear. I think important to note that we fully support the move to universal health coverage. It's critically important that everyone in South Africa has access to excellent health care across the system. And we are fortunate in South Africa to have a very strong health care system, but there's work that needs to be done to continue to improve our health care system across South Africa. And as Discovery Health and as Discovery Group, we are committed to that journey to continue to improve the health care system, to make health care more accessible and affordable to everyone across South Africa. I want you to recognize that as our commitment as Discovery Health and Discovery Group. We also believe that NHI is a way to achieve universal health coverage. So we're supportive of the principles of NHI. But we want to work together with government to make NHI workable and implementable. We think there is a need for good private sector government collaboration to move quickly on the implementation of the improvements to the healthcare system and the implementation of NHI. So we're not against NHI, but we've got work to be done uh, there's work to be done to make NHR workable. I want to, want to thank you once again for coming out today. I want to thank you for raising these issues. We have uh, acknowledged the, the memorandum and we are committed to respond within 14 days to those, the, the memorandum as Discovery Health and the Discovery Group. Thank you very much for the memorandum. I acknowledge it and I accept it on behalf of the Governor of the Reserve Bank. Um, I do want to say earlier one of your speakers spoke about engagements with um, COSATU. We actually meet with COSATU twice a year. We've got a meeting coming up at the beginning of November where we do talk about inflation and the Reserve Bank's commitment to bring inflation down and that is essentially what we are trying to do. And so I just want to acknowledge the memorandum and we will and we commit to responding to your memorandum within the 14 days.